Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Chap, and this has to be the best backdrop I've ever had to a video. I'm actually in Hawaii right now uh, at Qualcomm's Tech Summit. They very kindly invited me over. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to check out any of the beaches yet or go exploring, but I'm a bit of a nerd at heart, so I'm actually excited about what I get to show you here because I've been given a bit of a sneak peek, a bit of a preview of Qualcomm's next generation fingerprint reader, the new 3D Sonic Max. If you remember the ultrasonic fingerprint reader you got in, say, the Galaxy S10 lineup, this is the next generation version. And actually, it's a big upgrade. So chances are your phone already has a fingerprint reader in it and they work quite well so far. There's a few different kinds, ultrasonic, capacitive, optical, but ultrasonic and also Qualcomm's new 3D Sonic Max reader, which we have in this device here, takes things a step further. It's bigger, faster, more secure, more accurate. So as I say, this is a bit of a test phone. In fact, uh, it's got the current optical reader down here as well, but they're using this device to demo the new technology. The first thing you can see is this big box. This is a 20 by 30 millimeter area, which is up from the four by nine you get on current generation reader, which means this area is actually 17 times larger than before, which makes this the world's largest fingerprint sensor on a mobile device. So yeah, it's easier to use, there's more area to place your finger, but actually it's the security and the reliability that gets a big upgrade here. They actually can capture 30 times more detail or minutia. Previously on the four by nine sensor, you just got a really small picture of your fingerprint, which is obviously unique to all of us, but on this, it captures a much bigger area so it's obviously more secure it's harder to spoof so right now in pretty much all fingerprint sensors out there there's about a one in 50,000 chance uh, that someone else's fingerprint will work with this it's not completely foolproof but with this new 3d sonic max sensor the target is now one in one million which obviously is a lot more than one in 50,000 so actually the chances of someone being able to hack in or spoof their way into your phone is significantly reduced and the other advantage of having the bigger area is you can actually use two fingers simultaneously there's no no other fingerprint sensor out there uh, that can do this right now and say for banking apps or finance or anything that needs that extra level of security that could come in really handy so bigger more secure more reliable but also this is actually the only fingerprint sensor in the world that can actually measure your heart rate the ultrasonic waves the sound waves that come out can actually go up to i believe five millimeters subdermally under your finger what that means is maybe they can incorporate a heart rate monitor as part of a security feature or phone companies don't actually then need to place another one somewhere else on the phone it can be all in one so the big question how does it all work well i'll be honest most of it sort of went over my head uh, but the gist of it is it's using sound acoustics the sensor underneath is sending out sound waves uh, which obviously then reflect back from your finger and then through that it can uh, create a 3d pattern the ridges and the valleys of your fingerprint so unlike uh, say other optical or capacitive fingerprint readers uh, that actually just shine light up and scan a sort of 2D image of your finger, you actually get a 3D uh, scan of your finger, which obviously makes it much harder to spoof. You can't just place a piece of paper with your fingerprint or lift it off with one of your greasy stains that you've left. This actually needs a live finger, your finger, to work. So the technology is very impressive, but for me, it's the sort of day-to-day -day advantages that this will bring, such as the fact that you'll be able to wake up your phone without pressing that power button, without doing anything, just by pressing your finger on it. You don't have to press the power button or wake the screen up first it'll just be one click and open also when it comes to setting up your fingerprint not only is this quite a lot faster than before i've been doing some uh, comparisons with my old phone and this is a lot faster uh, but also there's going to be a feature where you don't actually have to keep pressing it and lifting off uh, over and over again you'll actually just be able to hold it there it'll take all the scans it needs so the actual enrollment of your fingerprint will be much simpler so this is just like a reference phone. We'll see uh, devices with the new 3D Sonic Max coming in 2020. And if you do want to find out more about 3D Sonic Max and also Qualcomm and their next generation chips, then I'll leave a link in the description below. But what about you? Do you prefer face unlocking, fingerprint readers, or just a good old fashioned pin? Let me know in the comments below. A big thank you to Qualcomm for sponsoring this video. And if you want to see more from me, then don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below. Thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you next time right here on the Tech Chat.